So we have to consider about the cardiovascular disease because, you know, nephaldi is uh, one of the presentation of the metabolic syndrome uh, that can lead to the cardiovascular disease and then death of the most of the patients. So nowadays, the presence of the nephaldi and obesity is uh, really uh, un uh, really known and then most of the obese obese patients have a nephaldi and the risk of the nephaldi and obese patient is gradually high since we diagnose we uh, uh, known about the nephaldi since 1980 the gradually uh, raising of the incidence of the nephaldi and obesity is, is higher uh, higher and the patient with the NASH are more likely to have the metabolic syndrome and then those with mastidosis. So definitely metabolic syndrome is a kind of pathology and this is definitely associated with the, our nephaldi and the NASH. So nephaldi is gradually increased with the increasing age. When you are older, the incidence of the nephaldi is higher and then it is more common among male than the female. It is quite interesting. 30% of the men with the nephaldi and 60% in the women with the nephaldi. And definitely, uh, if you have a obesity, the incidence of the nephaldi is 90%. And if you have a type 2 diabetes mellitus, the incidence may be about 69%. In this lipidemia, you have a 50%. For our hepatitis C patients, incidence of the nephaldi is about 33%. In the wall, the incidence of the nephaldi ranges from 6.3% to 33%, and the median range is 20% in our general population. You know, if you have a obese, 90%, but if you, are, if you are in the general population, it should be uh, 20% the presence of the prevalence of the nephaldi or neuro, the niche is a little bit lower, the incidence is ranging from 3 to 5 percent. So we are worried about the nephaldi because nephaldi is uh, the basis fat that can lead to the niche. However, the incidence of the niche is not so much very high, uh, it's only 3 to 5 percent among the nephaldi patients. And the patients with nephaldi have increasing overall mortality compared to the mesh control populations. So definitely, you have a high mort mortality rate compared to the normal population. The most common cause of the death in patients with nephaldi, nephal and nesh is cardiovascular disease. You know, 50% of the nephaldi patients have a cardiovascular disease and the mortality is mainly concerned with the uh, cardiovascular disease and Liver-related disease, only 33% in the nephaldi uh, uh, causing uh, death of the patients. And the patients with the NASH have an increased liver-related mortality rate. So compared to the uh, simple steatosis and the steatohepatitis, uh, the most important uh, mortality uh, causing is uh, the NASH regarding uh, the progression of the uh, cirrhosis and the liver cancer. These are the risk factors and association. Definitely we have uh, obesity, type 2 diabetes mellitus, dyslipidemia and metabolic syndrome, but some conditions like uh, polycystic ovarian syndrome, hypothyroidism, obstetric sleep apnea syndrome, hypopic, hypogonadism, and pancreatic urinal resection. These are the other uh, the secondary causes that lead into uh, uh, nephaldi and the NASH. So uh, let me say a little bit about the consequences. If you have a nephaldi, you might have some insulin resistant adipose tissue. And we have a compensated cirrhosis. That means uh, fatty liver disease. Compensated means fatty liver disease, not progression to the cirrhosis. But if you have a decompensated steatosis, this is a kind of uh, steatohepatitis. A decompensated stage, you might have a progression. That is uh, cirrhosis and liver cancer. Finally, uh, the fibrosis and then uh, the liver cancer. 
So the main cause of sequelae is the fat causing the inflammation of the hepatocytes. So the inflammation repair and the fibrosis that causes cirrhosis and finally uh, liver cancer. So the fat in the inflammation is uh, the basis uh, the uh, pathological process. So let me a uh, little bit concentrate on this sentence. non alcoholic fatty liver disease is the hepatic consequences of the metabolic syndrome. So you have a metabolic syndrome. This is uh, the basis fat. And then nephaldi is the one of the presentation of the hepatic presentation of uh, our general uh, 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 abnormal process. The metabolic syndrome is the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is the hepatic consequences. So you have uh, some environmental derangement and the genetic derangement, like a dietary fetus, food intake, low physical activity, and some evidence of the gut microflora. And then you have an uh, underlying genetic uh, consequences like oxidative stress, immune-related metabolic derangement that can cause Obesity, insulin resistance, hyperlipidemia, inflammation, and finally leads to the NEF, and nephaldi and the NASH. So we think of nephaldi is the spectrum of metabolic syndrome, and it is not a related uh, liver diseases. It is a kind of uh, our general uh, pathological process like a metabolic syndrome. Seafirm, caring for well-being.